Hello, you nerds, toy fans, and commendable collectors, and welcome back to the second episode of the Canadian Nerd Unboxes, in which we'll be unboxing the brand new DC Comics Play Arts Kai variant Batman, which you can scoop up from our amazing friends over at Superpower Collectibles, should you be in the market for one. So for those of you not in the know, this character in fact merges the iconic Dark Knight design, along with elements of the ancient Japanese armor and traditional Japanese mask of No. And included with this character are not only a batarang, not only a grappling gun, but a new accessory and that is an epically large sword reminiscent of Sephiroth's sword from Final Fantasy VII. So it is definitely something to behold and check out. However, in the case that you did not already notice this sexy toy beside me over here, how about I stop wasting both yours and my time and we jump in and unbox this thing after which we'll do a quick critique and then rate this thing and get out of here. So without further ado, all right guys, well there we have it. It is the brand new released in August of 2013 DC Comics variant by Play Arts Kai Batman. Now I was lucky enough to score this little gem at Toronto's most recent Action Figure Expo of which you can find out more at actionfigureexpo.com. So without further ado, let's take a look at what they did with this box. So to begin, as you can see up here on the top left, we have the DC Comics logo adorning the top left corner, after which we have DC Comics variant play arts action figure Kai number one. Batman. Of course, we also have this amazing redesign or variant sketch of Batman adorning the front right side of the box. Presumably, this sketch will wrap around the right side as it did on our Wonder Woman opening or unboxing rather on our previous episode. And sure enough, it does. Let's check out the other side of the box. And in keeping with Wonder Woman, it is also just a little bit of the sketching with a bit more branding as well. And then on the back, we've got an amazing sketch or design of this new variant Batman, which is effectively a mix of Japanese ancient ninja style armor as well as Batman's more traditional armor. Moreover, just like Wonder Woman's box, we have listed out all of the other figures that are currently available in this series, which include number three, Green Lantern, number one, Batman, as well as number two, Wonder Woman. And if you would like to see that one, you can absolutely go ahead and check that out on our previous unboxing. And for all of you super nerds, let's check out the top and bottom of the box just in the case that you are curious what's up there as well, or down there. So there's the top. Pretty simple. And there's the bottom, which is also super simple and I'm sure from your perspective, not even legible. However, it is time to open up the Velcro lid and see what the window has to reveal. Ooh, so pretty. All right, so starting with the left side or the Velcro lid. As you can see, we've got an awesome full, full motion sketch of Batman in black and white on the cover, which is consistently in the style of the character on the other side, obviously. Um, after which below we also have a description of the team that designed this as well as their process in designing this particular character. Over here on the right side, we've got the good stuff. And um, it's probably a little difficult for you guys to see. So um, let's move forward and start opening this baby up. Yeah. 
isn't it so? I know, you still can't see it with the plastic. Let's open it up some more. Now I'm just gonna be a little gentle with this, pull the extra accessories out, show them to you one at a time, and um, do the same with the character because there's a lot of pieces and I can't afford to lose them yet. So first things first is Batman. And the quality of this sculpt is beautiful to say the least. Let's try and get in here a bit closer so you can just see the level of detail. It's absolutely incredible. And as you can see, it still has some protective plastic on it as I have not yet completely finished unwrapping it or unboxing it rather. But uh, that will come. As we can also see, he's also adorned with some sort of ammo or weaponry along his legs. Massive spikes or blades along his gauntlets over here. Just all types of really finely detailed plate armor that goes all over. It's just really, really impressive to see how much work went into this. I'm super glad I scooped this up before it disappeared. Now let's take a look at some of the accessories. We have an awesomely long ninja sword, which is in keeping with the ninja style or ninja style reimagining of the new Batman design. We have a huge, yet presumably very functional grappling gun. We have a classic gold batarang. And finally, in keeping with our previous unboxing and the Wonder Woman of the same line, there are three additional hands to pose your character in any shape or form that you feel you'd like to. And finally, we have the display stand which is unfortunately blistered directly against the cardboard, which means that you will be ripping it out and will not be able to put it away nicely as you first purchased it later. But nonetheless, at least they're coming with stands and they didn't for a while. All right, also there was the unboxing and we hope it was every bit as exciting as you expected it to be. However, in the interest of time, let's move forward with this thing and talk about some of the good and the bad if we can find any after which we'll rate this thing and get out of here. So as I mentioned before, probably one of the first things that you'll notice with the brand new DC variant Batman is the accessories. First and foremost, he comes with an epically large sword reminiscent of the sword belonging to Sephiroth in Final Fantasy VII. So it definitely looks awesome and it's definitely also a change from his standard accessorization. He also has a massive grappling gun, which as far as I'm concerned, looks like a shotgun and looks super intimidating but nevertheless is badass and just looks freaking amazing second on our pros list is something that you notice upon closer inspection and that is the myriad different textures that were used to bring this character to life i mean it ranges from a variety of different armor plates some more matte some more shiny as well as a more waffled material which appears to peek through from underneath his armor and really just looks amazing contrasting each other. There's also the cape which stands out with its own texture, which they've also gone to extreme lengths to bring to life and make it look like it really is flowing in the air and has some movement to it. A third pro, which may not be so much a pro for you guys as it is for myself, but I'm really, really loving the mask. For those of you familiar with the Injustice version of Batman's mask, wasn't such a fan of the mouth hole area it just looks super super odd for some reason and i feel like the variant version by play arts kai really really looks impeccable and i don't think it could have been done any better so that is definitely a third pro and then lastly on our pros list as sort of a catch-all is just his overall design from head to toe i mean look at this thing everything from his face is really really well done with a scowl that really stands out 
an amazingly sculpted belt that looks like it actually contains different gadgets and whatnot. What looks like ammo or grenades strapped to his legs or thighs. Armor plates going all the way down to his ankles and just this thing is beautiful. And what a what a sexy sculpt. This is highly recommended to you. So that's it for our pros. But now how about our cons? Well, <laughs> don't really have any cons for you. In keeping with the unboxing of the DC Comics Play Arts Kai Variant Wonder Woman, my only con is the assembly required with the stand, which isn't really even a con. I mean, look at this thing. It looks beautiful. It stands beautiful. And if you love Batman and you love these characters, the stand is the least of anybody's concerns. So with that being said, and perhaps influenced by a little bit of DC Batman bias, our overall rating for the brand new DC Comics Play Arts Kai variant Batman figure is a solid 5 out of 5. If you are a super fan or super collector that is truly looking to bring Batman to life in your own home, this is definitely the best way to go about it. Moreover, with a brand new design and brand new accessories, this is definitely a depiction of the Dark Knight that you will not get elsewhere. So if you are looking for your own, then please make sure to check out our friends superpowercollectibles.com who always have these amazing characters in stock. And moreover, if you're in Canada, it'll ship to you in next to no time and for next to nothing. So we'd like to strongly encourage you guys to stay up to date with the Canadian Nerd Unboxes, the Canadian Nerd Show, as well as the Canadian Convention Network report your monthly Canadian Convention rundown by subscribing to the Canadian Nerd Show right over here or by finding the button somewhere around this frame. Moreover, we'd like to encourage you guys to comment, subscribe, share, and just get engaged with the Canadian Nerd Channel. So, until our next episode of the Canadian Nerd Unboxes, in which we take a look at the brand new Batman, the New 52, the Court of Owls book and mask set. Cheers, happy unboxing, and make sure to check out our amazing sponsor, superpowercollectibles.com, for toys, comics, collectibles, and more. HandSoloRecords.com, your Canadian source for the best in both nerdcore and underground hip-hop. As well as our newest sponsor, Harry Tarantula or HarryT.com, your downtown Toronto source for games, comics, manga, and tons more.